Hello and welcome to jasonnewland.com. My name is Jason Newland. This is relaxation hypnosis for stress, anxiety and panic attacks. So please only listen when you can safely close your eyes. Now, this is going to be a very unique... Oh, let me get myself all comfy. It's going to be a very unique recording because in the background there will be uh, people with orange and yellow vests digging up the garages space. I don't know what they are. It's, it's an area around behind my building. Um, they're digging up the car parking space. That's it. And just relaying concrete. It's I don't know, I guess it's just one of those wastes of money that the council do. Uh, they've got these people... I'm not sure if they keep their employees in cages, I'm not sure. But they, the ones that all they can do is make noise. Power machines, give me a power tool... Power tools, power tools. I, I must make as much noise as possible. So, uh, they're, yeah, that's what they're doing out there. So, what I thought I would do, just for the sheer fun of it, is make a relaxing, a relaxation session and a sleep session at the same time so you can choose which one you do um, with the background sound of I don't want you to call it if it's drilling or digging I guess digging isn't it digging up the per digging up the uh, concrete Or roadworks, but it's not a road. Road maintenance, again, it's not a road. Stop saying road, Jason. Highway maintenance, it's not a road. Um, pave, it's not a pavement. Uh, I don't know, whatever it is, but they're digging up, they're making noise. And I want to chuck eggs at them. But I'm not going to. I'm going to do something, <laughs> something useful instead, and make a recording. And it's going to be a test for myself to see if I can relax. Now, the falling asleep bit is up to you. I don't want to fall asleep because I'll just end up snoring. So, but relaxing would be nice because I am annoyed. So I'm not I'm not like annoyed annoyed but is this is the fifth day in a row and if you can hear it it has moved away but it's there can you hear it Yeah, it reminds me of the sound that used to come out of my, uh, my parents' bedroom. Must have been the hairdryer. Huh. So basically it's like Fraggle Rock around here. So you got that, and at the weekends we've got residents 
building their own conservatories and it's just just banging and noise you know constant and during a week those uh, <laughs> people they are people aren't they I mean it's got to, it's got to remember even though they you know, must make more noise boom boom that I imagine that's what's going on in their head <laughs> I don't know but um, I'd be surprised if they could put a whole sentence together uh, anyway see I get annoyed I do get annoyed when I think it's that stopping and starting and I actually started to dream now they're banging something that's probably a neighbour probably a neighbour one of the thinking oh god get on in some got to get got got to get into some of this action got to get in on it oh, bang bang got me hammer got me hammer i'm joining in bang bang yeah the good thing about it when we're banging and making noises we don't have to think it's too loud so we can't think about things can't think about how we messed up our lives <laughs> oh dear And you also won't be able to think about how you can move forward and make changes. So as you might have noticed, I'm in a bit of a weird mood. But <laughs> I might not even upload this now after hearing myself going on. But however... It is a test to see, to calm me down. Because, you know, it's a big part of me wants to go out there. And I already went out there on Monday just to stare at them. Because, you know, 8.30 in the morning, all day long. And the noise was closer before. Now it's a bit further away, so it's almost manageable. But Monday, it was... Honestly, I, f I felt like... I thought, if this continues, I'm going to go... I'm going to get into my time machine. And I'm going to go back to every single time I clean my ears, ears out. And collect all that wax. And then come back and stick it back inside my ears. So that I couldn't hear them. Of course, some would say that's not a good use of a time machine. Doesn't matter what they say, does it? But I don't actually have a time machine. So the argument would be pointless. What would you if you had a t if you had a time machine? I'd go back and stop your parents conceiving you. Well, that's rude. That's rude. I don't have a time machine. The conversation is ridiculous. Now, can I please, please have my quarter pounder and cheese and a fries and banana shake? Thank you very much. So I don't know if you can hear it now. So maybe this is not going to be a relaxation session it, as such. It's going to be uh, dealing with noise. That's what this is going to be now. It's not going to be going to sleep. What did I say? All this, I've got an idea. It's, why do I wake up and think, I'm going to do a recording? Listened out and thought, well, there's, there's road, you know, uh, a road's being dug up, really drilled and banging and all that stuff. I know what I'll do. I'll incorporate that into a sleep recording session. Yeah, that was a good idea. Now, how would that even work? 
you know, use it as a deepener. Use it as, yeah, and the louder the drills and the, the thumping becomes, the louder it is, the, the sleepier you feel. It's almost like you're, you're going back in time to a, bombs being dropped. Oh. And you can feel the artillery shooting the cannonballs. Uh, no, how would that? That's not, yeah. Or maybe you could try and transform it and change it. So instead of being, um, I, I think they're called kangos, aren't they? The things that drill into the concrete. You could change it and say, pretend it's not a, a concrete uh Digger, driller, banger thing. But then it's just a really, really loud stapler. Stapling pieces of paper together. Yeah. And now my stomach's heckling me. So, this is a recording you could listen to when there's noise in the background, like really uh, noise in the background. And you can listen to me moaning. <laughs> However, by being a bit, by not taking it as seriously as I have done in the past and could be now there is actually a part of me that's feeling more relaxed and I kind of noticed something last night because I'm constantly experimenting uh, in my own mind okay and especially when I got my eyes closed which is a lot of the time but sometimes oh I don't know if you either you know, I think I was sitting down in my chair and I've my eyes closed and I've started to experiment which means I wasn't being lazy I wasn't just sitting there with my eyes closed doing nothing I was being a productive member of society. And when I say society, I'm talking in a very broad terms. I said this to my social worker a few years back. I said, I am, I feel as I am a productive member of society and I'm contributing towards society. Just not my own and she said oh who'd want to contribute to this this part of the country anyway <laughs> and I thought okay you're a social worker who hates the town that you're working in lovely and my reach is a much wider reach isn't it it's worldwide but not local I probably nobody in the entire 170,000 people that live in my area or live in my town it might be more than that but it's really 170,000 roughly maybe 200,000 people that have never ever heard any of my recordings yet there's people in South Africa you know in other places far I mean I counted it I think there's Years ago, this is true, years ago, I had over a 100 countries that, would, that listened to me. This is, oh, blimey, this is going back um, to... ...2010, I guess. Or was it 2009? One of them. Either two thousand, yeah, two thousand and nine, I think it was, or two thousand and ten, one of them, and 
I I was checking the stats from my website for people who used to come come to my website. And yeah, over a hundred countries based on the Google Analytics. It's like wow. Not all at the same time, but you know, sort of over a period of time, over like a week or something, I'd have uh people yeah, I used to get quite good traffic back then. But then I used to promote it as well. I used to pay for advertising and stuff. Uh, anyway, this is something I noticed. I'm going to do this while the drill's going. Why well, can I stop calling it drill? Um, digger. While well, the digger. Now, if you can hear it, it's probably kind of faint in the background for you because it's nowhere near the microphone um, but can you imagine that I should do that I should just go and set up a few feet away from them <laughs> go out there with a chair and a table stick the iPad on the table and all the equipment uh, microphone on the stand and uh, sort of start a recording I say excuse me I was, you know, if they say what you're doing I say yeah I'm doing a I'm doing a sleep recording and then I can take a picture of their faces as I say it mind you they might not understand um, the word recording that might be difficult uh, sleep, I don't know. I imagine people don't think much, probably sleep instantly, wouldn't they? It's kind of like having a reptilian brain, isn't it? It's, uh, <laughs> it's just, <laughs> it's just be f naturally just fall asleep, completely oblivious. Because you've got to have a real oblivious kind of mindset to be waking people up at 8.30 in the morning and to be digging and drilling all day long, disturbing a whole neighbourhood. So uh, it's the same as like when lorry drivers that are blocking off traffic when they're delivering. Now, they can do that all day long, every day, you know, five days a week, uh, for years and years and years. So they've got to have... They've got to get in touch with that reptilian part of their brain where they don't have any consideration because they can't have, you know, have to block that off because you couldn't do a job like that if you had consideration because it would just drive you nuts. It would, it would just be too hard. Or people with vans, you know, the, the typical white van man um, where they think they can just like the the rules of the road do not apply to them uh, park you know or the black cabs a lot of colour here isn't there white van man and black cabs is it a black cab is the Lon well it's not just London but predominantly London taxis the original order black cabs and there's, uh, they again, they, if you've been to London, it's been a while for me, but I used to live there, they will just pretty much drive, stop wherever they want. So they have to have, so I don't know how that works for them because they clearly have to get in touch with their reptilian brain and turn off consideration like constantly, forever, you know, have to turn it off. Unless they have an operation, maybe, I don't know. Uh, but then they also have to turn on the the bullshit part of their brain, which spurts out absolute rubbish out of their mouths all day long as well, uh, with lots of opinions. <laughs> so I don't know how it works, I'm not sure. <laughs> Oh god, now he's having a go at taxi drivers, delivery drivers, 
who we rely on, lorry drivers who we rely on even more, just because a few zombies are out the front making noise. It's fine. I'm just, just messing about. That's the point of this recording. It's about messing about. Because in the past, I used to get really aggressive. Not necessarily towards the person involved, but I would end up breaking my hand on the wall, punching the wall, or trashing things, or really just giving myself a hard time by feeling complete bitterness and rage and all that stuff and the only person I was ever hurting was myself and now I have a delivery through the letterbox as I'm talking delivery through the letterbox see this isn't about not getting annoyed I'm not a Buddhist master it's okay to get annoyed. It's normal. Being a human being. Just like getting hungry. Or getting horny. Or whatever. It's just normal. It's what you do with it. Is the main thing. See. I can get angry because. Suddenly out of the blue. There's someone digging. A hole in the garden. Which there was a few weeks ago. Or there's scaffolding being put up. You know, it's constant. I think it's just this this area is quite old. There's a lot of... It's an old building, so they're constantly doing stuff to it. But me... I don't have to react... In a, in a hostile way. In the same way as... Just because the vibrations on the back of the bus is stimulating my prostate so that I have a lot of blood rushing to my groin doesn't mean I've got to whip it out and start showing everyone, you know? Some some would say, well, don't sit at the back of the bus if it's going to stimulate you and get you... That's why I do it. Uh that's where the engine is. It's no. I always used to. I don't sit at the back of the bus anymore. I'm not allowed. So the point is, you don't. We don't have to react in a negative way because usually it's only us that gets that gets harmed. Me punching a wall like a little. I say a little child, little children don't even do that. I started punching the wall off by accident, okay? I got um, angry with someone when I was about nine, and I punched him, but he ducked out of the way. And I ended up punching, I think it was my left hand for some reason, but I ended up punching the corner of a brick wall. And it just took a... It was just basically a big gash across my knuckles. It took all the skin off. And it... Yeah, it, it looked a bit messy and it hurt. It really... I mean, I don't know. I might have broken something, but... And I couldn't move my hand very much for a few weeks, really. But... Uh, ever since then, I used to start punching walls and stuff. So, which is a a, a for a, you know it's a not self harm but self injury, which is a similar kind of thing. And it's a really bad thing. You know, it's a very unhealthy thing. Rather, let's not use the word bad. It's bad, bad boy. Self-injury, self-harm, self... 
I think with self injury, it's less likely to cause death. Depending on what you're doing, of course. But my self injury would be punching. Um, but self injury, you know, if someone cuts themselves, it could just go really, really wrong. Um, so please don't do that stuff. Find other ways to release tension which is why I do what I do I know this is a different type of recording to what I normally do but it's still a way to release the tension because with this you're getting me talking um I don't know why I'm telling you you get me talking because you can hear me talking but this is it can be a distraction but there's lots and I say lots hundreds and hundreds of relaxation sessions that I've got available that you can listen to to rather than hurt you rather than someone hurt themselves and I know it's one of those subjects that's it's hard to address because the thing I, I struggle most with talking about self-harm or things like that is because I joke around so much and mess around with some of my recordings, not, not so much these ones, I can, I don't want it to be thought that I'm minimising or uh, not taking it seriously, the subject. And I do take this, the subject seriously, but I don't take myself seriously. So there's a difference. And this recording, this specific recording, is about perhaps not taking yourself too seriously when... You've got some arseholes outside in the road digging it up. Let's be blunt. Let's get to the point. And I'll just bang the microphone. There's people digging up the road and I hate them. I <laughs> do, I hate them. But I don't really hate them. But not a big fan. They are definitely crossed off my Christmas list yes so but it's not their fault because they're not arseholes they're just people earning a living working doing hard physical labour it's, you know, it's hard I've done that stuff in the past it's hard work it's fun digging up pavements brilliant fun with those, I think they're called kangos or kangoos or kangaroos or something. Obviously, got head protect, ear protectors and stuff, and but and I just like vibrations, you know. Uh, I remember once when I was doing it, someone said to me, "I've never seen anyone actually hold one of these things with their bum before." And I used to try and sit on it. I think, well. It's a little bit like being on the back of a bus. If any of us is public, at least. So, I... And people are going to... Dear Jason, uh, I listen to your recordings quite a lot, but this one was ridiculous. This is perfect. What on earth are you talking about? Well, this is in the vein of my Let Me Bore You to Sleep recordings it's just me talking and it's a crossover you could say it's a taste of the kind of stuff I do there but I'm not doing it for that reason I just want to be real I want to be real with you it's annoying having someone drilling outside your house if you're trying to sleep but it's not the end of the world. And they're just doing their job. And I 
think <laughs> I think I was yelling stuff out at them in my sleep because I was dreaming that someone was cutting down a tree in the garden not my it was it wasn't even my garden but that was my dream and I was shouting abuse at the people for doing it so whether I was doing that in my they wouldn't hear it hit from where they are because I'm just in here so it's just sometimes I do talk in my sleep um, whether I shout I don't know but I do I wake myself up talking sometimes which is weird sometimes I actually do a recording when I'm asleep I don't record it I'm just doing a hypnosis session seriously that's it's weird isn't it that is weird. T try this out. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna expand on this another time, but this is just one of my little throwaway things. But it's not. Um, so I want you. What I want you to do. Get myself comfortable. You don't need silence for this, which is fortunate because there won't be any silence during this recording. What I want you to do is close your eyes and just move your eyeballs around. And I don't mean with your fingers. You know, just leave leave your eyes like you leave your eyeballs inside your head and your eye sockets. Close your eyes and just move in your eyes to the left, to the right, up down to the corners first of all doesn't it feel nice now I guess it's going to feel different for everyone I mean I haven't experience the physical sensations of anybody else's eyeballs so I don't you know I can only have a little guess at, at what it feels like I can tell you how it feels for me and there's certain parts that actually feel nicer than others when I move my eyes around so what we're going to do is I want you to search because this is one of the little solutions for the what's going on outside for me is it's not necessarily about getting to the point of oh I need to feel all relaxed that might not be an instant place I can get to. Um, that could even be for me or for someone like trying to run a marathon at the very first time. You, you know, we're going to go running. I'll do a marathon to start with on the first morning instead of maybe running to the end of the block the end of the road and then coming back again or running around the block so this is another way of doing finding another way instead of trying to go instantly to feeling completely relaxed and although you Chances are you do when you hear my voice anyway if you're used to hearing me, listening to me. And also, as, you, as you've got to know me, you realise that there's a lot of tongue-in-cheek things that I say I'm not, I don't want to be taken seriously. You know, as a person, I don't want to be, 
I'd rather be taking it usefully rather than seriously. Is what I do useful to you? That's the bottom line. That's the only thing that matters to me. And it should be the only thing that matters to you if you listen to me. Is it useful? Is it useful? Is listening to me useful to you? That's the only question there is to ask, really, in my mind. So for this, we're not looking for instant relaxation, you know, with all this noise going on outside. What we need to get to is the feeling of, I don't care. Could not give a shit. Don't care at all. Just as just the same way as I don't care if anyone writes in complaining that I use the word shit. Do not care. Doesn't matter. Unimportant. To get to the point where you don't care. And then you can then move. Well, naturally from that comes increased relaxation. Now, I'll be honest with you. Let's be totally... Let's cut the bullshit. I can't sit and listen to that. Even if I'm relaxed, I can't sit and listen to that. So I will have the television on. When I finish this recording, the television will go on. And that will be on... Um, either that or music for most of the day so that you know I can yeah, in reality I probably could fall asleep as well but I've got audio books to listen to uh, I won't be making any other recordings because I can't do a, a deep sleep whisper like now as you fall Oh, asleep. That's my whisper voice. You will notice how quiet it is. And you got in the background. Right, no, it don't work. So I won't be doing any of that. But when I'm watching television, I won't be sitting there all angry. And I won't feel like I'm being held hostage by, you know, the, the noise outside and the generous providers of that noise outside. And in a relaxation session, I would say... Let's use the word sound instead of noise. But I guess um, I'll be in super duper real for this one. Because even though you may not be able to hear it very well on this recording because of the mic being you know, much closer to my voice, my, my my mouth rather than to the people, the humans outside digging I've forgotten what I was saying there blimey I was trying so hard to not use horrible words that I forgot what I was saying hmm but I will be watching television and I will be drowning out the sound because it's at too high a level for me to ignore. But it's not at too high a level for me to be able to just not really care about it. To not be angry, not to be stressed, upset... 
and in the old days, as I said, uh, I say the old days, but 20, 30 years ago, I was, yeah, I'm not sure what I would have done. I'd have, I'd have gone a bit nutty, to be fair. I would have, uh, well, I probably would have had to go out. At the very least, I would have had to leave my home, go out somewhere for the day. Uh, I'd be wearing earplugs. I discovered earplugs in uh, 2003, I think. So that was a way of combating or reducing background sound when I was sleeping. But I don't wear earplugs anymore. I went off of earplugs when I perforated my eardrum in 2011. I just basically just stuck them in too far. So if you do wear earplugs, be careful with them. Don't they're not dangerous, but don't force them in. You know the earplugs, not butt plugs. Don't just be careful. Don't. Just because I, I I put it in far too deep, and when I pulled it out, it was basically there was parts of my eardrum were in it. Well, not no, just just basically I scraped my eardrum that kind of quite badly, and it took, and I was dizzy for a few weeks. So it's horrible, but that taught me not to do that anymore so with your eyes closed when you move your eyes around there are lots and lots I don't know how many could be endless amounts of feelings physical feelings that you can feel they're physical but they can kind of be emotional as well and it's almost when when you focus on a particular spot a particular part um, of course you're not focusing on it visually you're focused on the feeling as your eyelids move around and that magnifies that feeling. So you've got relaxation. You've got all kinds of feelings there. Uh, what I found earlier. I think it was either early this morning or yesterday. I think it was in the middle of the night actually. When I was doing. Or my, yeah maybe it was yesterday. Anyway it doesn't matter. But I found. The feeling of. Looking forward to the future, really, really, really looking forward, and I was like, "Wow, this is nice." And it was a real; it's just a feeling. Didn't need visuals of the future. Didn't need anything other than the feeling. And I searched by just putting, just saying, I want to search for this feeling. So the feeling that you're going to search for with your eyes closed as you move your eyes slowly around side to side, up and down, corner to corner, just gently, just searching. And the feeling will just come out anyway. It will almost make itself available to you and that feeling is I don't care I don't care you just don't care doesn't interest you you're not bothered by it at all so as you just search 
with your eyes going left to right. I'm going to search for my I don't care. I think I found it. All right, yeah. Okay. Mine's down kind of the left hand side down down at the bottom. So I'm gonna move my move my eyes away just to see when I come back. It's almost uh, a feeling of nothing, but not really any feelings. Uh, just can't be bothered to have any feelings about this particular subject. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put that and allow that to grow. And connect it with the people digging outside. In fact, I can just drop those people or that thought into that area and connecting it that way. Or I can actually think about those people out there digging whilst being in that thought process of not caring. Wow. So I can hear that. I hear the drilling, of course. I mean, my ears still work. But as I experience it through that, I don't care. All the storylines have gone. The things that perhaps I fantasized about doing. Or, you know, just which were mainly negative. There's literally no mental activity whatsoever towards what's going on outside. I literally could not care. Now this is weird. It's almost... It feels like it's I just had a little image there of like a wound that's now healing and it's got a scab on it and that's what the the noise makers, the people outside were like in a sense. Almost I suppose that would make sense, like they've opened up an old wound from that I've had for years of being disturbed. I mean, for five days in a row, it's been a little bit much. And then, and it's all day, five days for sort of six, seven hours. But I feel almost like it's healing. And...
still there's that feeling of it doesn't matter. Who cares? And I could even talk about it without feeling emotional. Maybe I could fall asleep. I do feel quite tired. Almost feels as if it's moving further into the background. Okay. So that's the end of this recording, really. It's one of those weird, weird recordings that I do every now and then. But it might it might be useful if you're still listening. And I hope it has been. So I'm going to go. I'm not going to have some breakfast. So thank you for listening. Remember, remember to be kind to yourself because you deserve to be happy. And do something nice for yourself today. Lots of love. Bye.